Welcome to Martinsville Speedway for the running of the first Data 500. And here is the playoff outlook entering Martinsville. Clint Boyer is the only driver who has entered in the championship four with his win last week at Texas. Ryan Blaney and Denny Hamlin are tied for second in points, only 11 points above the cut line. And Kevin Harvick, after flipping down the back straightaway last week, is only four points above that cut line. Kyle Larson is four points below the cut line. Brad Keselowski, 2012 champion, is seven points below the cut line. Kyle Busch, 15 points out of the championship four, the worst he's done in the round of eight in his entire career. And Ryan Newman, 22 points out of the championship four, will likely need to pull off an upset win. Kyle Busch wins the pole above Denny Hamlin, Brad Keselowski, Matt DiBenedetto, Joey Logano, Kurt Busch, Kyle Larson, Paul Menard, Ryan Newman, and Daniel Hemrick in 10th. Today's event will play out over 200 laps, that's 100 miles. Stage one goes out to lap 50, stage two out to lap 100. Gentlemen, start your engines! And here the field comes up out of turn four. And green flag. Kyle Busch able to get the jump above his teammate into turn one. And one challenging right back to the outside of the 18 off of turn two. Hamlin able to get right up alongside the 18, and it looks like Hamlin will lead lap one. He managed to clear Kyle Busch on the entry to one, but Busch still trying to shove a nose under the 11. So now Hamlin the leader, Kyle Busch in his second, Matt DiBenedetto up to third, and Brad Keselowski trying to take fourth position off of Kurt Busch. Brad Keselowski and Kurt Busch have stayed side by side for several laps, but it looks like Keselowski will finally clear the one car on exit of turn two, but Kurt Busch drives right back to the outside. And the yellow flag is out. In the race back to the caution, Denny Hamlin is the leader above Kyle Busch, Matt DiBenedetto, Brad Keselowski, and Kurt Busch. Trying to go three wide off of turn four, Eric Amarola ends up getting turned off the front end of the 43 car, Bubba Wallace. Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, Matt DiBenedetto, and Paul Menard will stay out, while Brad Keselowski, teammate Joey Logano, and Kurt Busch decide to come down pit road this time by. And the first car off pit road is William Byron getting off in front of Alex Bowman, Ryan Priest, and Daniel Suarez. So some strategy going on as the 2 and 22 cars took four tires as compared to the first cars off pit road taking only two. The one car has stayed in his pit stall for over a lap, has fallen one lap down to leader Denny Hamlin. Apparently an issue with the one team. Kurt Busch has now made his way back onto the racetrack in 41st position. And here we go, green flag for lap 12. Denny Hamlin already off to a great jump above teammate Kyle Busch into turn one. Hamlin managed to get a gap over the 18 of almost four tenths of a second as we enter turn three. Kyle Larson going underneath the eight car of Daniel Hemrick to now take fifth position. Paul Menard running in his second to last Cup Series race, getting a very good effort out of that 21 team, still runs in fourth spot. One of their best runs after being eliminated from championship contention. A lot of beating and banging down the front straight as the 48, 13, and 6 cars tried to go three wide off of turn four. At the moment, Denny Hamlin leads Kyle Busch, Matt DiBenedetto, Paul Menard, and Kyle Larson. The only driver who doesn't have to worry about making the championship for this weekend is last week's winner, Clint Boyer, who currently runs in 10th spot, being passed by Tyler Reddick on the inside. Daniel Hemrick trying to make a move on Kyle Larson to get back into the top five. That outside line has been very good on corner exit out of both turns two and turn four. In fact, Larson was able to clear the eight and get up onto the outside of the 21. 
just by using the outside line, Larson will now move up in the fourth spot after passing Menard. Eric Amarola with pretty significant rear end damage has now driven his way up into 13th position. Trouble on the front straight, the 38 car of David Reagan is stalled. This will cause another caution. Danny Hamlin still the leader above Kyle Busch, Matt Benedetto, Paul Menard up to fourth as he got that spot by checking up Kyle Larson who had to avoid the 38 car. The 11 and 18 cars hit, entering their pit stalls. Significant right side damage on the 11. For his car off pit road is Kyle Busch, getting off in front of Matt Benedetto, Paul Menard, and Daniel Hemrick, as they will still have to repair the 11 car with significant right side damage. The 38 car managed to refire after stalling in turn number four. The 18 car just nails the 11 like he wasn't even there. That was not very smart. Denny Hamlin will manage to get off pit road, still on the lead lap, but he will restart in 37th position with a single file restart. So while Kyle Busch takes the green flag, he will likely be halfway down the back straight. Green flag is back out and we now have less than 20 laps to go in stage one. Lap car of Ryan C got the inside line trying to pass the 18 to get back onto the lead lap. Alex Bowman pulls onto the racetrack off of Pitt Road, manages to stall out the 33 car on the inside, and allow Matt Benedetto to file back directly behind the 18 car. Paul Menard up in the third spot, managed to get past the lap cars of the 88 and 33. Fourth position, Daniel Hemrick, and fifth spot, playoff contender Ryan Blaney. Oh, Chase Elliott gets turned by Friend, Ryan Blaney, off of turn four, this will cause another yellow. Matt DiBenedetto trying to get by leader Kyle Busch, but not enough time, as Kyle Busch will lead above Matt DiBenedetto, Paul Menard, and Daniel Hemrick in fourth. Texas race winner, Clint Boyer, is now up into fifth spot. Paul Menard has stalled under caution. Once again, three wide does not work at this racetrack, as Ryan Blaney manages to just clip the rear end of the nine car off of turn four and send them spinning into the inside wall. Paul Menard was able to get his car refired after stalling into turn three, and Menard will now restart in 30th position. And green flag, we now only have eight to go in stage one, and look at the jump by Kyle Busch into turn one. Already able to clear the 37, the lap car on the inside, Kyle Busch got loose off of turn four, allowed DiBenedetto to get to the outside of the 18 car. And Matt DiBenedetto will now take the lead. Kyle Busch starting to lose the drive off in that 18 car, sliding the rear end off the corners. And look at Clint Boyer up on the outside line. Last week's winner, the only guy locked into the championship for trying to take second spot off of Kyle Busch. And Harvick gets turned. In the turn one, up the racetrack goes Harvick. Almost makes no contact, but this will bring out a yellow that will end stage one. Oh, a flip. Tyler Reddick goes upside down. And with that caution, Matt DiBenedetto will now win his first career stage above Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson, and Clint Boyer. Once again, three wide does not work as Harvick gets turned on the entry to turn one. When Suarez turns the 31 up into the outside wall, the 31 goes upside down above the three. Two RCR cars taken out in very violent fashion. And green flag for stage two. Well, contact between the 88 and 38 on the inside line. That gave an opportunity for both the 18 and 95 cars to clear the inside line. Larson all over the back bumper of Bush as they exit turn four. 
Brad Keselowski had an issue with a tire puncture during the last sequence of cautions, and he is now running in 37th position, one lap down, almost to, to fall two laps down, to leader Matt Benedetto as Kyle Larson has taken second off of Kyle Busch using the outside line. William Byron runs in fourth, and Kevin Harvick, who just came after a spin, is driven up into fifth. And we have to give a shout out to Ryan Priest, who currently runs in sixth position for JTG Doherty. This is probably their best run of the season. Caution flag back out on the racetrack. Matt DiBandetto still leads the 42 of Kyle Larson above Kyle Busch. Joey Logano gets into the 34 car of Michael McDowell, turns him into the inside wall and then up the racetrack into the 15. And last week's winner, Clint Boyer, with pretty significant front end damage. And the first car out of Pitt Road is Matt DiBenedetto above Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, and William Byron, the same way they went down. And another underdog story as Landon Castle has driven his way up into eighth position. The only car currently out of the race is Tyler Reddick, who flipped on the exit to turn two. Green flag. Larson got a very good restart along with the 95. The lap car of Michael McDowell also on the outside line, managed to block the 95 slightly. And Larson able to pull onto the inside line, saw a gap in the lap traffic, but here comes Kyle Busch up the inside. Larson with a great run up to the outside line of the 95. At the line, Benedetto still had that lap. Kyle Busch now back up into second. Here's that the lap car of Michael McDowell is slowing up the 42 and his charge on the outside line. Now William Byron will take third position off of Larson. Bush dives it into turn three to get to the outside of the 95. Kyle Bush has to go very wide on the outside line because his brother Kurt Bush is blocking the lane. And now Kyle Bush will inch ahead of Matt Benedetto on the outside but the 95 will dive it into turn three and retake the spot. William Byron tried to go three wide on the inside of the Bush brothers, but he thought better of it entering turn one. Daniel Hemrick now runs in fourth spot. Kevin Harvick runs in fifth. Kyle Bush still trying to get to the quarter panel of the 95. Looks like he'll get there this time. But De Benedetto will clear him off of turn two. The 95 car much better on corner exit. We have now hit the halfway mark in stage two. And caution flag is back out. De Benedetto leads Bush, Byron, Harvick, and Hemrick. Castle, Truex, and Amarola tried to go three wide into turn one, and Amarola manages to turn the double zero into the outside wall. De Benedetto wins the race off pit road above Kyle Busch. Behind him, Daniel Hemrick will steal third spot and William Byron up to fourth. There is now less than 15 laps to go in stage two. Green flag. On the back stretch, the 95 and 11 still side by side. Remember Hamlin one lap down. The 18 and 11 still side by side. Denny Hamlin not even on the same lap as Kyle Busch, but still battling just as hard to try and get his lap back. Because remember, they're both playoff contenders. If Hamlin gets trapped a lap down like this, Hamlin might not have a shot at the championship at Phoenix. Here comes the 18 car around the outside of the 95. And Kyle Busch now retakes the lead above Matt DiBenedetto. We now have only eight laps to go in stage two. Daniel Suarez gets turned by Darrell Wallace, the second car that Wallace has spun today. Yellow flag is out. This will end stage two. And Kyle Busch will win the second stage above Matt DiBenedetto and Daniel Hemrick.
Matt DiBenedetto manages to retake the lead off pit road above Kyle Busch in second, Daniel Hemrick third, and William Byron in fourth. Green flag for stage three. Denny Hamlin will get his lap back up on the inside line. Managed to pass the 95 car. And here comes Daniel Hemrick up the inside line. Tried to take second spot off of Kyle Busch, but had to get out of the throttle. Kyle Busch trying to make a move on the inside of the 95, but Kurt Busch blocks his own brother coming off turn two. The spring race winner at this race track, Martin Truex Jr., has now driven his way up into fifth position. And Martin Truex Jr. up on the outside line will now take fourth spot off of William Byron. Here comes Kyle Busch up the inside, move the 95 car way up the hill. But still the 95 able to get off of turn two better than the 18. Denny Hamlin's been able to drive away from leader Matt Benedetto. Currently runs in 21st position, the last car on the lead lap. So at the moment, Matt DiBenedetto still leads Kyle Busch by just over one-tenth of a second. And behind him, Daniel Hemrick, Martin Truex Jr., and William Byron. They had to cut the entire front end off the 14 car from crash damage, but he still runs in eighth position. You know, Denny Hamlin's car is so good that he was not only able to pass the 95 car, Matt DiBenedetto, to get back on the lead lap, but he has now driven all the way up to the back bumper of 20th position. The next lead lap car in front of Hamlin trying to make a pass on Quinn Hoff in the 77. Kyle Busch still trying to set up a move to the inside of the 95. Finally gets to the quarter panel of Benedetto. They're gonna be side by side as they enter turn one. And De Benedetto once again holds off the 18 car off a of turn two. Third spot, Daniel Hemrick, is now five seconds behind leader Matt De Benedetto. And here comes Kyle Busch up on the outside line of the 95. It's going to be a drag race off of turn four. And Kyle Busch will now retake the spot. Trying to win his way into the championship four. And ever since Kyle Busch cleared to Benedetto, Busch has now been able to put a almost one second gap between himself and the 95. Through the mess of lap cars, De Benedetto has been able to close the gap between himself and the 18. In fact, the 95 cut half a second off of Kyle Busch's lead that last time by. And David Reagan has blown up. This will cause a yellow flag for oil on the racetrack. The second major issue that Reagan has suffered tonight, stalled it once, and now the engine is finally let go. In the race back to the caution, Kyle Busch still leads Matt Benedetto, and all the way back in third spot is Daniel Hemrick, and in fourth is William Byron. Kyle Larson managed to work his way up into fifth. Clint Boyer with no front end in sixth. And in seventh, Martin Truex Jr. And Kyle Busch will get off pit road in front of DiBenedetto, Hemrick, and Byron the same way they went down. There is now only nine cars on the lead lap. The last car on the lead lap is Kevin Harvick, who will restart directly in front of the 18 car because he is on the tail end of the lead lap. And the first car one lap down is Ryan Blaney who runs in 10th position. Green flag, 51 laps to go. Bush using this lap traffic to his advantage, starting to pull away a little bit from the 95. Ninety-five car back to the outside of the eighteen. Off turn four at the start finish line to Benedetto led that lap. Let's see who will get the lead off turn two. And 
looks like De Benedetto will retake this spot. Bush down to second, and Daniel Hemrick still runs in third position. Oh, the 13 car gets turned. Into turn one, Ty Dillon around. Caution flag is back out. The race back to the flag. Matt De Benedetto is still the leader above Kyle Bush, Daniel Hemrick, and William Byron in fourth. And we are going to have only 40 laps to decide the championship for Green Flag. A massive jump by Matt De Benedetto off the restart. Already has two lap cars as a buffer between himself and Kyle Busch. As Busch has to contend with the 12 and 88 cars. Oh, Paul Menard's been turned by Denny Hamlin. Off of turn two, the yellow flag is once again back out. And look at this. Daniel Hemrick has stolen second spot off of Kyle Busch. Liam Byron trying to take third. Byron will get it at the caution. Now De Benedetto leads Daniel Hemrick, William Byron, and Kyle Busch fall into fourth. Looks like Denny Hamlin just flat out dumps the 21 car down the backstretch. There's a gentle spin, but still causes a yellow flag. As the 54 car blows an engine down the backstretch. I guess that explains why Kyle Busch lost third spot to Daniel Hemrick slipped in the oil dropped by the 54 and green flag once again only 30 laps to go the top three drivers have a combined total of zero career cup series wins to Benedetto Hemrick and Byron all three of them have gone winless in their cup careers Benedetto will be able to clear the lap car of Alex Bowman. With the 8 car of Daniel Hemrick still trying to get around Bowman. And the 24 trying to get to the inside line. Brad Keselowski who is trapped 3 laps down in 35th position. It looks like at this rate he will likely not make the championship 4 at Phoenix. Here's a playoff driver update. The highest running playoff driver is Kyle Busch. Above Kyle Larson, who's trying to take the spot off Bush using the outside line. Let's see if he'll get it this time by. Still running side by side. This is for fourth position. Larson will take fourth. And behind these two is last week's winner, Clint Boyer, who does not have to worry about the points. Then Kevin Harvick, who runs in ninth. Ryan Blaney in tenth. And once again, Keslowski in 35th. Now De Benedetto has two lap buffer cars in between himself and second. As Brad Keselowski was able to get around the eight car. Matt De Benedetto trying to become the 19th different winner of the year, which would tie the all time record set in 2001 and then tied in 2011. Now only 20 laps to go. The gap between De Benedetto and Daniel Hemrick is 2.33 seconds. And here comes Larson around the outside line of William Byron. Larson will now move up into third position, trying to get by Hemrick already. And Kyle Larson will now take second position, two and a half seconds behind Matt DiBenedetto, who is the lead car. The competition starting to run out of time. Only 10 laps to go here at Martinsville. The gap between DiBenedetto and Larson has stayed stagnant at two and a half seconds. Three lap cars separate De Benedetto from Larson. De Benedetto kind of stuck behind lap car Ross Chastain. Chastain running much slower than the field. Just backing up the 95. In fact, they made contact coming off turn two. Oh, and the 22 car gets turned. Caution flag is out. This may end the race. As we race back to the caution, Matt De Benedetto, the leader, Kyle Larson in second, and Daniel Hemrick in third. De Benedetto slammed into the 47 car under caution. Quite significant damage on the front end of the 95. The six car just turns the 22 around, involves the 14, and 47 and 22. Excuse me, 20. 
this damage that 95 gets quite significant. And yes, this race will end under caution. So as long as Benedetto can make it back two more laps, he will win his first career Cup Series event. And there is the white flag displayed for Benedetto, And Matt Benedetto will win his first career NASCAR Cup Series race and become the 19th different winner of the year. And this is the first win for Levine Family Racing as an organization. And Matt DiBenedetto finally pulls it off and wins his first career Cup Series race above Kyle Larson, Daniel Hemrick, William Byron, Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer, Martin Truex Jr., Kevin Harvick, Ryan Blaney, and Ryan Newman round out the top 10. So the championship four will be Clint Boyer, Ryan Blaney, Kyle Larson, and Kevin Harvick. Blaney getting in by only nine points, Larson getting in by only five, and Harvick making it in by only three points. Hamlin unfortunately missed it by three points. Kyle Busch missing his first championship four since the inaugural championship four of 2014. Ryan Newman missing the championship four by 24 points and Brad Keselowski missing it by 33 points. The next race is the championship event at ISM Raceway. Catch it right here on the Speed Station.